Hello everyone and hope you're doing fine. Today in this tutorial I would like to show you how you can create a waiting function in Unity. Let's say you want to instantiate game objects and you just don't want to do it fast. You want to wait for a few seconds every time you create that or you want to like print something in the console uh, but you don't want to do it fast you just want to wait or let's say you want to switch from one scene to another scene but you want to do it with mm -hmm. delay so let's create um, two scenes the current scene I have I saved it as main scene and uh, you can uh, create another scene name it new scene or whatever suits you just to make it clean okay uh, and uh, go to the main camera for the main scene and change this skybox on to solid color and give the background the color and go to the new scene and go to the main camera and change it to solid and choose another color for the background okay go to the main scene again okay save the new scene also now create a c-sharp script and name it script one go to the script one okay now uh, let's create our function void waiting method this waiting method should uh, like uh, this is for uh, switching scenes so we're going to use this in order uh, in our uh, in start uh, or update uh, in order to switch from one scene to another scene so let's use the unity engine scene management and let's uh, call the scene manager and load scene and call our new scene not like this with capital letter it's case sensitive okay yep i guess it's correct okay new scene now you can uh, like we can use update it doesn't matter it's just gonna do it once call invoke invoke not invoke repeating invoke repeating is the same but uh, actually it just repeat the script uh, according to the rate you give here so uh, we will not use this one we will use the invoke uh, the simple one just uh, the delay time but if you want to repeat a function many times feel free to use invoke repeating uh, okay now we will use this one we will give the name and our function name is waiting method and the time I wanted to wait for five okay because it's a lot okay so uh, if you use invoke repeating you just fill the same information you just add repeat uh, rate maybe like five times or ten times it's up to you so let's save our script and go back to unity editor in order for our script to work we need to connect it to a game object so i will just create a game empty game object name it wait wait manager okay connect the script to the wait manager and press play okay uh, okay we forgot to add it to the build manager sorry so add these two scenes to our uh, build manager and close it and play again ok 
okay it switched the uh, scene okay now let's create another script to show you another method for waiting uh, the second script is I will name it script 2 okay so let's say I want this script to run before the other uh, before the first script switch the scene I want it to uh, like um, write something in the console so I will just say uh, mm, yield yep return new okay maybe not here not a good idea to use it here okay create new function waiting method again or waiting maybe yes I will use capital letter waiting okay I will yeah, return new wait for seconds okay uh, here I will say just um, maybe one or two yeah let's put it to its float okay and then I will say debug should print the I I will I haven't declared I yet so let's go up here and say int I and I repeats I uh, increments in every update so it should wait for two seconds and then again add uh, I mean print and then add uh, one to i and i should be zero okay uh, let's call the function here uh, okay we need to use later because we are going to use start curtain in order to uh, repeat this function so I will write start routine okay and waiting yeah so everything looks good save the script go back to unity click on wait manager and connect the script to to our um, with manager and what's the matter here yeah sorry this is a function okay don't forget this too save the script again and go back what else oh my bad okay uh, maybe I'm in a hurry that's why I forget things so save the script again okay good so just it just print and then switch and stop printing so you can see it keeps uh, like printing the eye before it switch the scene so let's increase the time to 10 seconds uh, and let's go back clean the console go to the game okay okay maybe too long okay uh seven five by seven Okay, yes, done. Okay, um, thanks for watching. Hope you understood how to use these two scripts or functions to make a delay. Thanks for watching. Bye.